Hello, this video is about collection files. Uh, you can download them on a Facebook group. This is the Facebook group, Procreate and Nomads Cult Resources. Everything here is free and um, here you can get resources. And here it's possible to download collection files like the wheels collection and you get a file for Nomad's Cult like this with a lot of wheel shapes and yes, you can download it. And how to use it in Nomad's Cult? Um, here's an example. I want to create a wagon and I need wheels. And now I am go um, to the add scene and I'm using my collection file. This is the wheels collection and I bring it in the scene, the complete file. And this is what you get. And I'm looking for a wheel I want to use and let's use this one here. And now use the cell mask, mask this part and in the mask settings you can extract it. Use here shell thickness zero and extract the, the part. Um, the other mesh we don't need anymore. We only need this, this one. And the next important step is to, to bring it in the middle, move origin and reset the view. Oh, sorry. Yeah, um, okay, we get it. Uh, there was symmetry on, um, yes, for the cell mask. And now I trim off uh, this part here. Oh, sorry, symmetry is on again. We only need this mesh here. Now it's okay. I hope you understand. Uh, okay, and now bring it to the origin of the, the world. And the, the wagon itself um, hide it and use only now the view of the, the wagon wheel. And I turn now on the wireframe on. And you can mask it, mask the part. And in the mask settings, you can give it a shell thickness. Let's use one and extract it. Now we got our wheel. The next step is to use a voxel remesh. I think it's the best way to, um, to trim the objects and yes, you can keep sharp edges, use a, a little bit of higher resolution. You can decimate it later and remesh it. And now Go in the front view, you can lock the view and it helps to uh, bring in a plane to find the exact center point. Plane, rotate it and use a division of one and validate the object. Now you can see uh, when the wireframe is on where the the center line is and it also helps when you make this object a little bit additive to look through it. Then it's easier to split the mesh. In the split settings here turn on hole filling and here the sliders all zero. And now Let's use uh, the split function. I think we need he, um, here um, a split. And I use now the outline. Let's split it like this. OK. 
Okay. And the last split. Okay, the plane we don't need anymore. And we can rotate now the object and make it opaque. Yes. Sorry, when I simple merge it now. It dwells together, I think. Okay. Uh, one last. This one. Opaque. Okay. Yes, there's a faster way, but... Um, I I want to make a mistake now. And here you can use now the solo view and adjust the mesh a little bit. Uh, you can scale it. And yes, the trim was not complete perfect. Um, let's trim it again or split it or trim it. I think trim is better. have to flip. Now we got a clean part and now split the mesh with hole filling off. And now you can simple merge it again. Use the cell mask. Invert the mask and scale it like this. Okay. And this part we can adjust a little bit like this. This a little bit smaller, and I can use a round hole brush a little bit more. And oh, this is the wrong direction. Yes, and sculpt a little bit. And here, a little bit of adjustment. Okay looks nice and it's possible to use now the the decimate function press a few times decimate um, yes I made a mistake here because I, <laughs> I I go a few steps back. I have to brush the the whole thing. And this now I think it's fine.
Yeah, okay. And let's use decimation again. to a voxel remesh and decimate it again. I think now we got a nice wheel. Um, okay, let's bring in the box and this object we can simple merge. Let's see where the gizmo is. And we can adjust the gizmo or the pivot of the gizmo, rotate it like this and bring it here. I think it's okay, a little bit more here. And now when you use the transform tool with move on and snap, you can now, oops, I think this is a yes. I think there was a, a piece a mask active. And now you can place here the the objects. Like this. And let's use a clone and place it here. This one we can make a little bit bigger. Okay, that's a way to use the collection files. Yes, it's, you can now save your 3D wheel, wheels in a collection. And yes, have fun with sculpting. Ciao.